I'm back with an update today. Okay, so I have Christina Rose with me today. Christina is my fourth child. No, yeah. Who are you? <laughs> um, Christina's my third child. I have five children. And Christina is child number three. And um, she is four years old. And she is um, home from school at the moment. She's home from playgroup because she has been very, very unwell. She has got um, slap cheek. I don't know if you've heard of slap cheek, but she has slap cheek. And, and so now she's um, been having lots of fevers. The red cheekness has gone away <coughs> from her face. But she's been having the coughs, the fevers, the sore throats, the rash and everything else that goes with it. And she's been really, really poorly. Henceforth, um, little Christina has been asking for Bitty a lot more than she was prior to that. Um, you know, she felt she was getting too big for it. I felt she was getting too big for it. But since Danny came along, my fifth, um, sorry, since Bethany came along, my fifth child, she is five weeks old now. Um, you know, she's nursing all the time in front of the children. Um, Danny's still nursing all the time. He's three. And, um, you know, Christina's only a year older than Danny. I mean, and, um, you know, it's difficult for her because she sees Bitty being given all the time and she loves Bitty and she remembers how much she loved Bitty when she was getting it all the time. But you don't get it very much anymore, do you? Only when you're poorly or when you get a boo-boo, when you've fallen over and have hurt yourself. So, um, yeah, anyway, Christina got a new pair of roller skates, didn't you, Christina? And she's been ever so good. She's been playing on them. And you fell over, didn't you, and hurt yourself. And she was very, very brave. And I said that if she was brave, I would uh, have some bitty. Anyway, guys, so I this would be a perfect opportunity to make a video about this. Because um, breastfeeding a four-year-old... Um, you know, it's not something that's done very often, so I thought, yeah, this would be a good opportunity to show something that you don't see very often. So, Christina's going to have some bitty, enough of me rambling on. So, um, basically, um, this is how it works. <laughs> Christina comes and sits on my lap, she gives me a cuddle normally. Um, I'm going to try and do this discreetly so as not to offend all the people, because... Breastfeeding a four-year-old is already apparently really offensive, so, um, you know, I'm going to try and be discreet about it, but she's going to have some bitty, and I'm kind of winking at everyone here, so I'm trying to... So, here we go, there's Beth, um, Bethany and Christina, oh my goodness. I feel like the woman, what's the woman, there was a, an old woman who lived in the shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. Um, yeah, so, your hair, your hair's crazy. Is your uncle been brushing your hair and doing all sorts of weird hairstyles again? Yeah. So, um, as you can see, it's very much like, I can breastfeed her out in public and nobody would be none the wiser you know, of what was happening, they wouldn't know she was having bitty, they think that she was just, you know, sat on my lap, talking to me, having a cuddle, they wouldn't know that anything was going on, and, um, you know, I could have a nice little cuddle like this, and, you know, it's one-on-one -on -one time, when you've got five kids, you know, you have to, like, try and delegate some quality time with each one, and sometimes that's really, really hard to do because, um, you know, not because it's, you can't delegate quality time, but there's times when you can do like painting and colouring and reading and stuff with them. Um, times when you just cuddle and play with them and talk to them. And then there's that times where you just want to snuggle and enjoy your child for that moment. And, um, yeah. Sorry, she's all trying to like peel her cunched over. Yeah, um, she, um, in the last update I did with her, I explained that she was having some issues with, um, like getting the breast milk out of my breast. Um, 
since I'm breastfeeding a newborn, I have a whole lot more milk than I did before. And now, instead of having to like really suck to get any milk out, it just kind of squirts out all over the place. So it's a whole lot easier for Christina to have um, to be able to get the breast milk out now because it kind of just shoots out and into her mouth. And um, you know, she doesn't have to do a whole lot of work involved do you Christina? Yeah, so for me it's completely natural and I can't think of anything more natural than just giving breast milk to my baby. Um Christina's still my baby even though she's four I still see her as my baby. But she's a big girl as well, aren't you Christina? You're a big girl. Um you know she's completely potty trained and you know, she dresses herself and feeds herself and she goes to school and, you know, she's very good with her reading and, her, and reading and writing, you know, with her numbers and her letters and stuff like that and doing you know, everything else that a normal four-year-old does. Uh, by the way, can I point out that she has a normal diet? She eats normal, regular food. The amount of comments I get from people that seriously think that I'm not feeding my children food, I'm only giving them breast milk, it's crazy. Seriously, you wouldn't believe. But yeah, I get so many comments, people saying, oh, that child should be um, eating food, it's got teeth and all this. And um, the great thing about a child, breastfeeding a child of this age, is yes, they have teeth, but they know what biting is, whereas newborns that have teeth, or you know, say a six-month-old baby that has the teeth, has teeth, they don't know what biting is. Christina knows what biting is and she would never bite me um, because if she did, she would never get any pity again, would you? She would never get pity again if she bit me. So she, she would never bite me, uh, at least not deliberately. Um, you know, and if she did by accident, you know, accidents happen, but um, she's never done that. Um, I don't know what else to say, really. Um, she loves pity and would have it all the time if I would allow her to, but obviously I don't. Um, for me, I think one of the reasons why I allow her to have it more than, say, um, other parents is because she doesn't have a pacifier, she doesn't have a dummy, she doesn't have a comfort blankie, she doesn't have a favourite teddy, she doesn't have any favourite toys, she doesn't really have anything that she comforts with apart from just, you know, the affection she gets from her mother and father and her brothers and sisters. <coughs> so, like, um, you know, having breast milk for her is something really special. And what I love about it is at this age, you know, she can remember it, she can enjoy it, um, and it's something that she's not going to forget, hopefully. I mean, I have memories from when I was, like, three and four, so her being four to five, she should remember you know, um, having Bitty, and that's something that I really am happy about, that she will always remember that. But, let's come off this for a minute, because I just want to talk to the people a minute, but can we just talk to the people, and can you tell um, the audience, tell YouTube, what does Bitty taste like? Chocolate milkshake. Chocolate milkshake. Um, the other day I asked her, she said it tastes like sweeties. Does it taste like sweeties? Yeah. And um, is it, like, tell me what do you think about Bitty? Do you love Bitty? Do you love Bitty better than any drink in the world? Do you think everybody should have Bitty? No? Just nice people like you. Yeah. And do you think that Bitty's good for babies? Yeah, it's the best drink for babies, isn't it? Um, but is there anything else you'd like to say about Bitty? Because you're not going to be having Bitty when you go to school, are you? When you go to big school. Are you going to miss it? Yeah? Are you happy that Mummy's given you Bitty all these years? Yeah. And whose Bitty is it now? Bethany's. It's Bethany's, isn't it? And does Danny have Bitty sometimes as well? Is that okay? Is he too big? No, he's not too big, is he? Why do you think you're too big, but Danny isn't? Because I'm four. Because you're four. Yeah, so do you think when you get to four, it's too big? 
Do you think mummy should stop giving you bitty? No? But if you're four and you think you're too big, maybe mummy should say no more bitty. No? See, we talk about these things, guys. You know, it's, it's, you know I can talk about it with her, you know, and um, it's not something that is a big issue. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's just a lovely bonding thing. But don't get me wrong, at the end of the day, I'm not letting her make the choices. I make the choices. I'm the parent. Um, I'm not just giving in to her um, just because she likes it, you know. But, you know. Also, Christine, another thing I wanted to say. Um, do you like drinking bitty from a cup? Yeah? And do you like drinking bitty in a bottle? If there's a bottle with some bitty in, would you drink it from a bottle? Yeah? You don't like the plastic bit in the bottle, though, do you? But um, would you prefer to have bitty... Get your hand out your mouth, sweetheart. Do you prefer to have bitty from a... From a cup or from mummy's bitty? Mm. Yeah? Is, and why is that? Because I like it. Because you like it? Because you didn't cuddle? Yeah, it's the comfort, isn't it? This is going to open up a whole um, can of worms and, um, you know, a lot of people will disagree with it. What do, you, what do you think to the people that say um, you should, that you're not allowed it? What do you say to them? Are they silly? What do you think? If someone says to you, you naughty girl, you should be having bitty, what do you say? You say, no, you're silly. Is that what you say? Yeah. Okay, guys, I better go because we've talked about bitty for a long time now, haven't we? Yeah? Let's get closer. Let's get closer. Say bye-bye. Bye, guys.